Hi, this is James from tracymac.co.uk and I'm just going to give you a quick uh, video demo of Twitter later on the iPad. So let's open the application up. Okay, here we go. So on the left hand side of the screen here, uh, we have basically all the tweets from the, the people that I follow and we can scroll through those. There's a, we can click more at the bottom to make the list longer. Now to actually um, um, refresh uh, your timeline, it's okay, so just giving the uh, giving the column a little drag down and I don't know if you can see there it says release to refresh and that's how you uh, refresh. Now over on the right hand side we've got various tabs here at the bottom on the left we've got uh, messages and this is where we can uh, see everybody that's direct messaged us um, by clicking on one it then gives you uh, all the messages kind of in a conversation style like so uh, and clicking on one of those takes you into the message and then you then got the option to uh, reply like so the next tab along is uh, mentions. Uh, that's fairly straightforward. Once again, um, to refresh, it's a kind of case of just pulling it down and uh, giving it a quick release. Um, and again, you can you can go deeper into it, and that's where you find options for retweeting and uh, sort of emailing or direct messaging that contact. And again, you can go deeper in and actually see uh, more details on that particular contact. And, and again, you've got the option to, to, to message them or block or unfollow them, that sort of thing. Fairly nice. Next tab is channels. It's just an example there. Next one is search. So we put we can do it by first of all keyword. So we'll search Tracy and Matt. And there we are, that's brought up all the tweets that have uh, involved, uh, involved Matt. We can also do it by location. And for some reason, my iPad thinks I'm in California, which is a bit strange. But I suppose if it was working properly, I'd be able to see all the people uh, that are nearby me that, uh, that have tweeted recently. Fairly good, uh, fairly good feature, but uh, yeah, I'm most definitely not in California. And then finally, the other option there is uh, to search for people. Okay, next on the tabs is lists. And that's just uh, just loading them now. Um, I don't know if, if you read my review, you'll see that I don't actually use lists, but um, if you do, you can, you've got the option there to uh, play about with those. Next tab is drafts. Where obviously if you, uh, you you start some draft uh, start a message and uh, don't complete it, it will save to drafts. And then finally we've got the more option uh, where we can view my pro profile. Um, we've got retweets, trends, and everyone. So oh, we can see everybody that's tweeted in the, the obviously in the in the last few seconds. Um, that's pretty much it. As you can see. Um, it's quite a nice uh, user interface. It will work also in um, in portrait portrait mode, like so. Although you don't get as much information uh, on the screen. Um, for example, here we've only got the mentions, um, so you can only you can select one tab, and it will only show you um, just that particular tab that's on the screen. Whereas, obviously, if we have it like this, uh, you get a lot more information. So this is the one I tend to use. Um, so that's Twitter later for the iPad. Um, nice, isn't it? See ya.